Richard Allen of UC Berkeley is hoping that if an earthquake like Loma Prieta happened in the near future, you would get a 10-second warning. For the past 10 years, he's been working on an early warning system for earthquakes, creating a network of 400 seismic monitoring instruments throughout California. These seismic monitors are sensitive enough to detect earthquakes on the other side of the world. They can also record the different kinds of energy within a single earthquake. Known as P waves and S waves, these are the secret to earthquake prediction, Alan says. The first energy is P waves, um, and so it travels much more rapidly through the subsurface but has very little energy associated with it. The second type of energy is called S waves, it has a lot more energy, it does a lot of the damage, most of the damage, um, but also it travels more slowly. So you detect the P waves and then you can say something about the S waves that are going to follow. Even if the warnings do work, what can you do with only 10 seconds? David Oppenheimer with the United States Geological Survey in Menlo Park says a lot. You really need to be thinking about automatic applications. Elevators stopping at the next floor when the door's opening. Alarms going off in schools saying, you know, duck and cover with a voice telling you what to do. Fire stations could open automatically. Metering lights on freeways could turn red. BART trains could begin to slow down. Oppenheimer says he can imagine cell phone applications that pick up P-wave alerts and start counting down until the quake hits. But all agree that though these warnings could save lives, they would be costly. What would Richard Allen do with 10 seconds? The best thing you want to do is get under a table. It's that simple. Nothing else. Get under a table. 